Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. So a lot's going on since the last time we checked in on Bitcoin. We had a nice bull move up to 1075 and then an all out dump all the way down to 914. So this is a bit concerning for the bulls where these dumps are taking out significant progress by the bulls. You can see it took us weeks to make that run up to 1140. And then in just a week and a half, we gave it all back. And then we can see a bull run here, eight green days to the upside, giving it all back in one day. So need to be cautious. And certainly dumps are buying opportunities so far as we're in an overall uptrend and the dips are getting bought. So we saw a quick move from 914 all the way back to 1020 in just two days. So some nice gains to be had there. And the levels that I'm watching right now are the low of the dump, 914, and the high of the bounce, 1020. So putting a support line there and a resistance line there, that's the channel I'm watching. Now the bulls have formed a higher low at 975, and they want to see a break of 1020. That would show a lot of strength on this recovery if we see the bounce, high of the bounce, higher low, and then a higher high. Otherwise, we're going to see this range continue to tighten between 914 and 1020. We'll look to form a higher low, lower high, and tightening range. So tomorrow's a pretty important day for the bulls if they want to see that break of 1020 and get right back to looking up at 1075 resistance. That would be an ideal scenario for the bulls. So looking at the weekly time frame, now that we've got another week under our belts, and we can definitely see what I feel is the potential to be an equilibrium pattern. And we see this on every stock commodity time frame. Whenever there's a breakout. We see a big pullback. We don't always see a big pullback, but after consolidation, we see the range tighten. So we have our high, our low of consolidation, a lower high. We'll look for a higher low to form, lower high, and tightening range. So it does appear the short-term top could be in for now. If we cannot break 1020 or cannot break 1075, I will look to pull back and form a higher low in the mid $900 area. It is possible that that 914 is our higher low as this range continues to tighten. But we're going to need another day or two of price action to see how we respond to that 1020 resistance. So overall, bulls definitely still in control of the trend. Let's zoom out and get a bigger picture. We would have to pull back and break the dump low all the way down at 751 to change this higher low pattern on the weekly longer term time frame. So keeping a close eye on these bulls to show us that they are strong and continuing. And right now it's a battle for 1000 psychological. So I appreciate you watching. We'll keep checking in once the volatility picks back up and we have new key levels to be watching. But as of right now, 914 support, 1020 resistance. Thanks for watching.